Right, so welcome back to continuing this bamboo e-quad. Now the only difference between the um, last video and this video is I've fixed the seat on, I've put a baseboard on for the motor and I've put the back carrier on. Now what we need to do obviously is connect the front forks. Now bamboo is an awesome material but it has one serious drawback. It's going to take nowhere at all. So anything that turns in there has got to be made out of metal. So I took these off those previous two bikes. These are the steering columns. And somehow I've got to fit these steering columns to the bamboo quad. Now lots of really good suggestions have been made. Now I used carbon fibre because that's what's used in high-end bikes. But I have been told they're also using glass fibre. If you use glass fibre, you're going to need to use woven glass fibre, not chop strand mat. There's just not enough strength in chop strand. Woven uh, fibre, it seems, is perfectly good. A lot of people made some nice suggestions about alternative materials as well. If it was me, then, and I was doing it again, I'd probably do it out of jute or some kind of natural hemp fibre that then we could impregnate with a resin and get a really strong joint. But that would be experimental and we wouldn't really know how that would work. The carbon fibre, it's tried and tested and we know it's going to work fine. However, on this non-structural chair, I used jute to tie that chair in. Because remember, it's just a dining chair. So I cut the legs off a dining chair and strapped it to the bamboo frame using jute. These ones... I'm probably going to do either glass or carbon fibre because remember this is the one that takes all of the turning at the front so it needs to be reasonably strong. I'm not sure if I would ch trust Duke with that or not. Anyway, let's have a look, quick look at the changes. So this is the square of the dining chair, there's the jute lashing, there's the base plate and that's actually held on with U-bolts right there, there and there and there. So I put U-bolts on to hold that. And there's my back carrier again held on with U-bolts. Now I'm probably going to put the batteries on here. That's because I'm going to use those big lead acid batteries. If you're using a lithium pack then the lithium could go under the seat and we'd have ourselves a nice little carrier. This rear axle I got from the previous quad and all I have to do is fit that axle in. And then a couple of U-bolts and that axle will be done. Okay, it was a huge debate actually what to do about these. I was thinking carbon fibre, fibreglass, but in the end I thought to hell with it, I'm going to try jute strings. I've actually put them on with jute string and then given it a coat of resin. Now, I have no idea if that's strong enough or not, but then I would never know if I didn't try it. And if it does break, well, hey, I can always carbon fibre the thing up, can't I? So, I'm trying jute string to see if it actually works on a joint that needs quite a bit of strength. So, let's give it a go and see. Now, having put those steering columns on, the rest actually is really quite easy because the wheels just slot in the steering columns. All we have to do is slot the front wheels on, fasten up the bolts. Okay, and that's it finished. I mean, you always learn so much when you do something like this, don't you? If it was me now, I would have made the whole thing out of jute string, but it's now a mixture of carbon fibre and jute string, and it's rock solid, I mean, particularly these joints here. Now, we started this in 1146, 1147, and finished it in 1149, which was the kids' bike, so we welded together. That gave me the idea of the bamboo, but of course I have salvaged quite a few bits from those kids' bikes. And you might notice, if you watch those videos, the steering has changed. What I've done is taken the handlebars, chopped off one and joined them with a rod so that if I steer then I get the same steering in the other wheel. So the steering system is much higher and it's making it more comfortable. All we've got left to do now really is put the motor in and take it up and down the car park and see if we can take it on the road. But it is a solid construction and I'm loving it. As I sit in it nothing's actually happening to it. We'll see what it's like when it's actually moving which will be tomorrow and um, that will finish this project. Basically, I'm loving it actually. I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Look forward to seeing you in the next one and don't forget to subscribe.